Do you have a rare or valuable coin? Today we are looking at the 1908 silver quarter. So this is a barber quarter. Now this coin ended up selling at auction for $168. Now the reason this coin sold for that is because it has a partial collar. Um, so you can see that around the rim of the coin. Now if this coin was in much better condition, it could have sold for more money. Worse condition, it could have sold for less. But I do love the designs of these old quarter dollar coins. Absolutely amazing. Now this coin here sold for over $11,000. Now, this is the same dated coin, 1908, but this is also the D mint mark. So if we flip the coin over, look on the reverse at the bottom, you will see that D mint mark underneath the feathers from the eagle. And the reason that this coin is super valuable is because it is in phenomenal condition. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 67. So that's what gives the coin its value is that high grade. If there's only a couple of these that exist from 1908 with the D mint mark in this condition, then that's what gives it a lot of value. Now again, if you compare it to this coin here, same date, same mint mark, 1908 D mint mark. However, it's in much, much worse condition. It's graded at a VF20. Now the last coin was graded at a 67. A 70 is the perfect grade on the coin grading scale. So this coin here, because it's not in so great condition, only sold for around $30 at auction as compared to $11,000. Now that's the same case for the no mint mark. So we'll have that 1908 D mint mark. In this case, this is the no mint mark. So you will not see a mint mark on the reverse of the coin. Uh, but this coin still sold for over $7,000 because it is graded at that Mint State 67 grade by PCGS. So uh, all the value there is in that condition or the grade. Now again, if you compare that to a 1908 no mint mark that's in much worse condition, graded at a fine 12 by NGC, this coin only sold for around $30 as well, 25 bucks uh, for that one. So uh, here is the 1908 O mint mark uh, that is uh, very very high grade um, so we have the D mint mark the no mint mark and now we have an O mint mark meaning that it was minted in New Orleans again you'll see that on the reverse at the bottom of the coin now this coin again is valuable because of that high grade of a mint state 66 this coin sold for over four thousand dollars because of that grade and if you compare it to this coin, this coin only sold for a little over $50. It's the 1908 O Mint Mark Barber Quarter that is in much worse condition. Now, in 1908, we also have the Proof Quarter. So this coin here sold for over $32,000. Of course, Proof Coins are much more shinier, have much more detail, have that mirror-like finish. Uh, to the coin so you can definitely distinguish a proof coin from a regular business strike coin very easily uh, so this is super rare to have this coin and then to have it at a proof 69 cameo is just unbelievable that's why it sold for over thirty two thousand dollars now for 1908 we also have an s mint mark so no mint mark a d mint mark o mint mark and the s mint mark s mint mark means that it was minted in san francisco this is a very high graded example of that mint state 67 grade and this coin ended up selling for over eleven thousand dollars and again if we compare it to a 1908 s in much worse condition only graded at a six this coin only sold for $47 at auction. So you have to keep in mind for the S mint mark, those are kind of key date coins, right? They only made 784,000 of the S mint mark. So that is uh, the best one for the year 1908. But yeah, if you guys inherit coin collections, come across the old coins, or you wanna learn about your newer coins uh, that can be worth money, feel free to check out all the other coin videos here on the channel. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.